Okay, how's everybody doing out there? First of all, my name is Kenneth Bird. I'm the creator of Crystal Age Technology Screens using Smart Technology Gain. First of all, I'm going to say, Mr. J, very unprofessional. See, when you do stuff like that by taking people's voice recordings and playing them on YouTube, that is not a good idea. Number one, it doesn't show that that's the kind of person that you would trust with your personal information. Because that's the kind of person who's going to record someone's voice and throw it up on YouTube. That is a person I would not trust when it comes to business because they're capable of doing anything. Now I hate to go on a, I hate to go out on that on that um, on that ledge and say something like that. But it's true because you only show exactly what kind of person you are by practicing bad business such like you're doing now. Now for me, I have I have phone calls, multiple phone calls you've called me, multiple text messages, emails, all kinds of stuff from you. But I don't post it. And the reason why I don't post that information on YouTube or the social media because it's very unprofessional. I leave that up to people that are hired to do that kind of work. That's their job to investigate that kind of work. When people do things like that, that's their job. I leave it up to them. That's the professional way to do it. But when you post someone's voice recording or conversation, it may entertain your group. But to those that are professional, those that are more mature, it just they see it as bad business because who's to say that you may take someone's personal information and you may post it so like I said very very bad business you don't do things like that but anyway let's move on from there now first of all we caught mr. J first of all um, doing a fake review I posted that um, that evidence where he basically branded a one gallon nano container and nanos don't come in one gallon. Now they come in one gallon now, but at that particular time they didn't. There are only two quarts only for the nano. Claims he got it from a customer. Well, here's the thing. We have a track record of every nano that gets shipped out. And we know for a fact that there's no way in the world that you could have obtained a gallon of nano. Virtually impossible. But the silver nano that you branded in one of your videos saying you weren't going to do any more demonstrations. And the reason why is because you couldn't do a demonstration on the silver because if you did, it would show and prove that the nanos come in two quarts. On top of that, the same kit matches the kit we have on our website. So on top of that, even more substantial evidence is the simple fact that when you roll the screen, it was gray. You look at the roller, it wasn't black, it was gray. So you had a gray substance or whatever it was in that container claiming it was our technology. And that's where you failed miserably. I won't go on at that, but I'll post that video at the bottom if you care to take a look at that demonstration. So anyway, moving on from there. Now, how do we know it's silver nanotechnology? Well, I'll show you why. Because here's the thing. You got a silver kit from a customer. We know you didn't throw it away. You probably recoded it on your screen. Now you're claiming it as yours. Now, chances are you'll probably code over the screen after we show you What's the difference between a nano and an everyday screen? See, there is a code embedded in the nano so we can tell if someone's been using the technology without our permission. It's something that comes up on the screen. When you get too close to it, it causes a certain interesting reaction. So, I'm going to show you, and you can see there's the nano silver, nano black, nano black. Now, keep in mind over there that says everyday screen paint. I'll show you the difference between the two. Now usually if somebody throws glitter into a screen, all right, a lot of glitter into a screen, the screen is going to react. When you move back and forth, you'll be able to see the glitter come off the screen, especially with all the lighting we have in here, you'll be able to see the glitter with no problem. But I'm going to get right up on the screen. I'm going to move back and forth. You don't see anything, do you? We'll come over here, we'll move back and forth. You don't see anything, right? Now, if you look at a nano, it looks like an everyday screen. Much like this screen paint over here, looks like an everyday screen, correct? All right, well, let's show you what makes a nano different and how we can tell if someone's been using our technology as their own. I'm gonna remove the projector right there. Now you notice, you see the image here. You see it now? There you go. That is nanotechnology. Right there on how it reacts to light. Now, done very slowly. This is how it reacts. So we know for a fact that something looks off about your screen. 
Now keep in mind when you got your that uh, screen paint kit from your customer or our customer, sorry about that, our customer, and he was using a silver nano, your screen happens to match an exact duplicate of a silver nano and looks the exact same way as a silver nano. Now you'll probably paint over your screen after I show you this. Now you're probably thinking well I don't really see a difference there. Well again look at the screen. Now watch this. See how the screen is reacting to the light? See how it crystallizes when light hits it? That's the secret embedded code that's in a nano. That's how we know. Now, see the black screen? Watch this. See it? Get that fly. My flashlight's in the way right there. There we go. See it right there? There you go. That's what popped up on his screen around 1345 on his video. That's what we saw. We saw this pop up on the screen. That's how we knew. See this screen right here? Can't see anything, can you? Now watch this. That's what we saw pop across the screen. Probably didn't think that we didn't have anything different. But yeah, there was an embedded code in that chemical to get the screen to react a certain way. Now the reason why I didn't show the video, and I have a previous video that I have. The reason why I never showed it was because I wanted to see if you would basically use that technology as your own. I'm just kind of curious to see what would happen. Now like I said in that parrot video with the parrots, around 1345 in the video you'll see the, the reflection come up off the screen. That's how we know that it was a nano. See that? Now if you look at that screen, you can't see it. Same thing over here. Same form of technology that we use. That's how we know it's our technology. Because this screen came up just like this. Around 1345 in the video, this is what popped up on his screen. And that's what we saw slide down the side of that bird's wing. We knew it was our technology. That's the difference. Now I'll take the flashlight and I'll hit the everyday paint right here. See the difference? We, I know my own technology. I designed it. I would know what it is. You know, you want to come at like everybody's against you and this, that, and the other. I don't know, I don't know what your problem is. I really don't. But we're really getting, we're getting tired of you, man. We really are. All right? So, like I said, you know what's coming. So, I'm going to leave it at that. All right? So, that's basically about it. I got to get back to work. I got things to do. And like I said, if you're curious about the fake demonstration that he did on our screen paint, check that out. It's bottom of the comment section.